All right. So what you do here is that what are the parameters you have? If you look at it very well, they say to look for the what? Calculate the volume first of all. So you have volume <laughs> of pencil. Volume of pencil is equal to what? Volume of volume of tone that is the sharpened part plus volume of cylinder. That is the body of the pencil. So now what's the formula for volume of cone? That is what? 1 over 3 pi r square h. 1 over 3 pi r square h. Now what's the volume of cylinder? Pi r square h. Thank you. Beautiful. Now, what do you do from here? Now remember what they told you. They said you should give your answer in terms of pi. Meaning that you are not going to say pi is equal to 22 over 7. You're not going to say pi is equal to 3.14. You are just going to use it as pi. Pi is pi. So that will be 1 all over 3 times pi multiplied by your r squared. Now, your r in this question, we've not obtained it. So we need to obtain that first. That is r for the, cylinder, for the cone. R for the cone. Now, r for the cone, how would we obtain that? If you look at what we have here, this is one centimeter, this yeah, diameter here. So it means that, of course, it's a diameter. So it means that by extension, the diameter here will also be what? One centimeter. Okay. So that means half of it, which will be the radius, is what? 0 0.5. So you that what? Radius is equal to what? 0 0.5. The class will be ending soon. Is it equal to D over 2? Yes, it's your main. Which is 1.9 1 divided by 2, which is what? 0 0.5. 0 0.5 centimeter. Yeah. So now, but in the same vein, you still need to get the height of this cone. You need to get the height of this cone. You need to get the height of this cone. So what do we do with that? How do we do that? We use Pythagoras. Theorem. So by Pythagoras, what do we do? By Pythagoras, that means if we bring this out, we are bringing out this shape out. So our eyes, we are looking for that. Our slant height. Oh no! Excuse me. We are giving the height. The height is one point two. Remember, this is the vertical height. Yes, we are giving the height one point two. So that is one point to the height of the cone. Let's call it H1. This will be H2, height of the cylinder. Plus pi times what's our R? Okay. Oh one point two. Plus pi plus pi times our r, the r is 0 0.5 squared, multiplied by the h. Now that h is going to be the height of the what? The height of the cylinder, which is 15 cm. Good, you have to know that. The height of the cylinder, which is what, 15 cm. So that'll be times 15. So this is what? Times 0 0.5 squared. 0 0.5 squared is um 0 0.25, I believe. 0 0.5 squared, no, 2.5. That is 0 0.25. 0 0.25. Uh. So this is going to be zero, zero point one pi plus three point seven five pi. So if you add this up, that will be three point eight five five centimeters cube. So this is what I meant by leaving your answer in terms of pi. Meaning that you're not going to use that pi for anything. You're not going to substitute 22 over 7 for pi. You just solve it like that. Now, the next thing is for you to determine the total surface area. The total surface area. 
of the words of the of the shape of the pencil yeah so now your total surface area remember that we first of all need to still get the the um the slant height of the cone so obtaining the slant height of the cone so to obtain we write to obtain the slant height of the cone excuse me let me just set this camera to obtain to obtain the slant height that will be this so i brought out that part of the cone so use pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem so this is going to be l squared is equal to what l squared Yes. This will be L squared because this is L. This is your height and this is your radius. Is equals to what? Is equals to R squared plus what? H squared. So our R squared is um, 0 0.5 squared. Our height is what? 1.2. We are giving squared. So from there, that will be 0 .5 squared times 2.0.25. So, of course, this is um, 1.2 squared. That is 1.44. If you add that to 0.25, that is 1.69. So if you find the square root of that, that was 1.3, 1.3, not 0 0.3, 1.3 centimeters. So in that case, now remember that surface. Yes. Total surface area. Let's just say TSA of pencil will be equal to what? Curved surface area of the compact plus now the total surface area of the of cylinder with one open side remember what i told you yesterday with yes, one sir. open side because you cannot calculate if this is the cylinder you know normally i was supposed to get the surface area here the surface area here the surface area here but because yes. of this cone that is covering it you cannot get the surface area here so you can only get the curved surface area of this cone and the what and the total surface area of what only one side so please I would like you to refer to the refer to the notes for next day. This will be pi R L plus we have less than four minutes. To pi go. R L plus two pi R squared. Um two pi R, sorry, plus pi I R, R squared plus two pi R H. R H. I'm coming. Good. So that would be what? So our pi, remember, our pi is pi. Our R is 0 0.5. Our L is what we just obtained here, which is 1.3 plus pi again times what? 0 0.5 squared plus 2 times pi times what? Our R again, which is what? Our R, which is 0 0.5 times the height. The height will be the length of the cylinder, which is 15. So this is going to be. <laughs> Excuse me. That'll be 0 0.5 multiplied by 1.3. That is 0 0.65 pi plus 0 0.25 pi plus. Times 15 pi. So if you add up everything, that would be 15 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.65. This will give us 15.9 pi centimeter squared. So that will be our answer. We have questions. Yes, sir. Good. Now, um, your mathematical uh, mathematics assignment
will be placed on Google Drive. Initially, I was going to type it, but uh, I feel like... So what you do is, once you, solve the, once you solve the question on a sheet of paper, you upload it. You upload it on the Google Classroom. So you get your assignment on the Google Classroom. All right. so questions? Comments? No. All right. So do have a nice day. Can I go off? Yes, sir. All right. Bye. See you tomorrow by God's grace. Bye-bye. Mm.